is dominated by the fact that the chemicals can never be seen. And so we resort to instrumental methods that allow us to actually see, call them representations of the chemicals. In chromatography, the signal is turned into a peak. The size of the peak is, is, represents the amount of whatever made that peak. So a bigger peak means more of it was there. Lesser peak means less of it was there. In science, there's, and in many things, everything is like grayed out and, and gray and not cut and dried and everything. So we make models and images and make rules. And one of the rules that we make in chromatography is that there's a mathematical linear relationship between the size of the peak and the amount of whatever it was that caused that peak. So, so the relationship is mathematically exact. Okay, let's turn to, turn to this example. We have a hundred standard of benzene. The hundred standard of benzene gives us a peak of 289. So a hundred gives us 289. If we'd have gotten more than 289, it would have been more than 100. If we did run a 200 standard, the argument would be that we should have gotten twice the 289. If we had run a 50, we should have gotten half the 289. It's a mathematically exact linear relationship. I think it's reasonable and honest as a new chemistry student just to accept this as fact. It's a definition. Take it as a definition for now. Just take it as a definition. There's a direct relationship between the amount of chemical that was added in the area that's under the curve. Okay, let's go to an unknown. We have a, uh, an unknown sample, benzene, the same thing, and we run it, go, run it through the same procedure, and we get an amount of 432. So, how much benzene is in the sample? Well, our, our 100 gave us a 289. Our unknown is giving us a 432. So I, it's pretty clear, I think, that the sample has more than 100 in it. How much more than 100 does it have? Well, it's the same question as how much bigger is 432 than 289? Is it a lot bigger? Well, what's a lot bigger? Well, this is a mathematical, there's a mathematical exactness in this, and we can do it with math. This is the way I do it. I take the 100, and I say to myself, hmm, do I want a bigger number or a smaller number? I, got a, I, got a, I have a bigger peak in the sample than I had in the, uh, in the standard. So I want a bigger number. So let's go with bigger number. Let's make this number bigger. Let's, let's multiply it by the big number and divide it by the small number. And let's see what we get. So we got 100 times 432 divided by Two eighty nine, and we get. No, I don't think that's right. We get one hundred times four thirty two divided by two eighty nine, and we get an answer of one forty nine. So, is this right? I think it's important to stop and just. Is this right? Okay, 100 gives us a 289. Will a 149 give us a 432? It's the same as this question. If 100 gives us a 289, will 149 give us a 432? 
And my thinking is that this is right. It's about half again as much. So 432 looks good to me. This is, of course, an equation for the... Um, this is, a, of course, an application of um, a, a calibration line, which is a standard y equals mx plus b problem. But I'd rather, at this point, that my students stop and set their academics aside and kind of feel this. 100 gives you a 289. A 432. What will give you a 432? Okay, one last point, and that is that the... the these numbers are generated by a computer. The computers just do what they do. You know, computers just do what they do. The computer is giving us a 289 for the 100, 289916. So the computer is giving us a 289916. And the computer is giving us a 432077. So I throw all the numbers away. How can I do that? The computer doing what computers do, do, gives us six significant figures. Do we need six significant figures? No. Do we need five significant figures? No. Do we need four significant figures? No, not really. Do we need three? We may not even need three, but I say let's just use three. So I take the 289, 916 and make that 289 and I take the 432077 and just call that 432. And if you look quickly at the math, you'll see that the numbers drop out anyway, so it really doesn't matter. And three significant figures seems like it seems like good diligence and a good responsible good responsible number to take. You could take four if you wanted. And that's it. Mm -hmm.